Dubai. Dubai. Dubai 50 years ago was a pure desert, let alone 1,400 years ago. And who's competing with them? Saudi. Another prophecy that Prophet Muhammad said, he said there will come a time when a man will not be sufficed with a woman. I mean, in intercourse. He goes to another man. When a woman will not suffice with a man, she will go to another woman. Look what's happening now with LGBTQ. In the Quran, Allah told us, Satan will inspire people to change Allah's creation. People are born healthy, everything. That like example I give you. Imagine I said to you, I never catch your name. What's your name again? Two one away. Two, two one away. Two one away. Yeah. All right, got you right, yeah? yeah? Two one away, yeah? Two one away. Imagine I, I said to you, I believe I should have born armless. Even though you can see, see clearly I have an arm. But I think, I have a feeling inside me I should have no arm. Would you help me to cut off my arm? No. You think, no, Shamsi, mentally not well. How about people who are born a man, everything, because they feel something inside them, then we go help them. You see what I'm saying, bro? That's why when you have no God, we see in our society around the world. Allah mentioned the Quran, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشْتًا دَنْكَ Whoever turns away from my remembrance will have a miserable life. The example I was going to give you, imagine I said to you, look, brother, we've been having a beautiful conversation, a nice discussion. I'm a multi-millionaire. I will give you two million pounds as a gift. If you do take it, yeah, if you do take it, what would you say to me at least? Would you thank me? Probably. Of course, two million pounds, brother, you're going to go to New Zealand, have a nice car, a nice house, a nice wife, you know. And you remember me all the time as well. No doubt, you're going to remember me for that two million pounds. I will give you two million pounds. On the condition, give me your two eyes. Would you do that? No, go. Your two eyes is more valuable than anything else. So why are we not grateful and remember who gave us eyes for free? You know, we have many blessings, but we don't appreciate it. Yeah. While we're speaking, me and you, we are benefiting from God's ox from the oxygen that God created. Yeah. If we go to hospital, they will charge us. But you're getting it for free. And no doubt, all of us, like I said, naturally, you want to be grateful to the one who gave you something. But how we do it? If you want to buy a gift for your mother, would you buy a gift that you love or your mother love? She loves. Likewise, if you want to worship the Creator and be grateful to Him, we should do it the way He loves, not the way we love. Because the way He loves is objective. The way we love is subjective. That's why, based upon His wisdom and mercy, He sent the prophets and messengers to teach us about us, our, our life. And that one day we're going to die. We're going to live this life. What do you think was said so far? Make sense? Uh, makes sense. It's interesting. Why, yeah. How do you know you're right and other religions are wrong? I'll just show you the proofs. Like when you look to Islam, mm -hmm. it goes in, when God, you know, God is so powerful. When God creates us, He creates us with the tools mm -hmm. to recognize the, the truth that He's going to send down. Mm -hmm. For example, imagine there's a padlock. Yes? And everyone here claim he, we made a padlock. He's going to say, He made a padlock. She's going to say, I'm going to say, Now, in order for you to know who made the padlock, we're going to give you the keys. The key that is going to open the padlock is the key. The owner of that key is the one who made the padlock. The other ones are flying. So when you look to our universal tools that the Creator has given us, our sound reasoning, our natural inclination, Islam goes in line with it. Were you born Muslim? I was born Muslim, but I, I, was, not, I was not practicing. I had a crazy lifestyle before. You know, literally my lifestyle was crazy. But I'm not, I don't believe me utilizing my personal life is a proof Islam is a truth. That's for me. But if you notice, I never used it. I mean, we're talking about drugs. I, I, I was involved in crazy drugs, yes? And it was a time when I used to, when I used to get sober, I used to believe I was high. It became the other way around. Well, lie, I used to get high. I said, no, 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 I don't feel normal. I need to do something else. But Alhamdulillah, something happened to me. I went to prison and Allah sent the Quran, Asa an takraw shay'an wa huwa khayru lakum. Perhaps you hate something which is good for you. When I'm in prison, I don't understand why I'm in prison. I'm praying to Allah. Why they not let me out? You understand? What happened at the end of the year, I came out. When I came out, I understand the wisdom of me going to prison. Because I couldn't stop my crazy lifestyle except by way of going through hardship. That's why there's many hardship which contains blessings. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. What, what would you say to someone who was born in a Christian household or a Hindi household who has the same conviction that you do but with their faith? I, 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 I will say to you, look, any religion other than Islam, deep down, not because I'm Muslim, I'm saying that, deep down they know it's not the truth. For example, that's what I said to you, one of the proofs that God created us with is our natural inclination and sound reasoning. Are you telling me with our sound reasoning, I'm, I've been, I believe God become a baby and someone changes his nappy 
and a woman breastfed him, and that God, he couldn't even help himself, but he's going to help me. I don't need scripture to tell me that doesn't make any sense. Or the Old Testament is a tribal God. It's only for the Jewish people. No, God is God of everyone. You understand? That's why when you speak to Christians, they will never give you the proofs I'm giving you, the prophecies. You know, there's another miracle of the Quran. I never mentioned that. One of the miracles of the Quran, Allah mentioned the Quran, We have made the Quran easy to be memorized. That is a claim, correct? But would, you know what is beautiful of Islam? When Allah make claim, He backs it up. All right? Now Allah mentioned that He will make it easy for the people to memorize. In another verse, Allah said, Inna We send down the Quran or the revelation and we will preserve it. Yes? So the claim will be easy to memorize and we will preserve it. Now, if you go to Africa, Europe, Britain, America, Asia, Muslims at the age of 9 and 10 and 7, memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. Yes, even four. Whatever. Two. The Algerian, no, the youngest one, three. As Algerian. Yeah, two. Word for word, letter for letter. What is very amazing about it, yeah? Some of them, don't, they don't even speak the Arabic language. And when they read the Quran, they read it perfectly. Imagine all of us here, we memorize a book in Chinese. We memorize a book in Chinese. But guess what? None of us speaks Chinese. We don't know how. We, sometimes, maybe even if we do speak Chinese, we make mistakes. But when we, when we read out the book in Chinese, we make no mistakes. The Quran, even those who speak Arabic, not Arabs, they will make mistakes in grammar, pronunciation. But when they recite the Quran, they recite it perfectly. Also, if the Jewish people, the Christians, the Muslims, all of them decide to burn their scriptures, say, you know what? We don't know the scriptures with us. The only scripture will remain with us is the Quran, because it is in our hearts. The Muslim children, not the scholars, our scholars memorize it too. The Muslim children kind of bring it back into the written form. You understand? That's one of the miracles. You know, because the most wise God, He will never leave us with a corrupted book. You understand? He will give us a guideline. Everything has a guideline. What about you? What is your guideline? Our guideline, it comes from the Creator. You understand? And also about Islam, if someone was a Christian and he never heard about Islam, and he dies, Allah will never punish him straight away. Because Allah is the most just. He never heard about Islam. Allah would test him on the day of resurrection. Allah said, وَمَا كُنَّ مُعَدِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا Allah will never punish people until the proof has been clarified to them. You understand, bro? You know, you know there's a verse in the Quran, it's so powerful. It's in Surah Yusuf. Allah said, how many signs of Allah, they walk past by it day and night, the meaning of it, and they do not recognize it. How many signs in the heaven and on the earth that people walk past but they are heedless? Brother, today what is it? Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. Have you ever heard someone say, you know, the sun hasn't come for two days. Let us bring the sun back. Oh, we need to something we need to fix the sun. We need some screwdriver for the sun. We need everything human creates. Always we need to update and fix it. The sun and the moon. Look. You know, and look, the, the trees, everything. SubhanAllah. Science. You know, there's a man came to our Muslim scholar. He was an atheist. He said, if God exists, what is a miracle? He said, you're asking for a miracle, but your own eyes is a miracle. Your eyes, you know, your eyes, how complicated. You know, the what? You know, the cameras is based upon our eyes. And our eyes, so complicated, designed. Allah said, Afala yaqilun. Don't you not think? Don't you not reflect? Allah said, Allah said in the Quran, Wafil ardi ayatulil muqinin, wafi anfusikum afala yaqilun. Upon the earth, there's many signs indicate toward the Creator that I should be washed alone and within yourselves. You have a hand, you have eyes in the front, but at the back, you walk like this. Huh? Everything, subhanAllah. You know, there's a, a brother who studies about uh, biology. He said the, the teacher was an atheist. So I said, oh teacher, you always tell us look how amazing human beings are. And you believe there's no creator behind that? Doesn't make any sense, man. You understand? Do you have any questions? Yeah. Nah, appreciate you. Thank you very much. So what we say to you, brother, I would advise you that don't think this information, uh, reflect upon it. You understand? And look how deep it is, look how Islam, look how, and like I said to you, I never told you, believe in Islam is the truth because I had a dream. What well, I said to you, I gave you a tangible, a logical, rational proof why Islam is the truth. You understand? And you said it makes sense clear. What I would say to you, when you go back home, 
do more research, you know, and inshallah, I can give you like a, a, a this our channel, by the way, if you want to watch it. This our channel. Yeah, that's the our, yeah. Do you have Instagram? No. Okay, this our channel, YouTube. You can take the... That's the our. Yeah, that's the our, yeah. You can watch other videos, inshallah. This is the Arabic one, sorry. Okay. But that's da'wah, yes. That's yeah, da'wah. Yeah, cool. And this here, just remember it. You can watch the video again and think about it because what I will say to you, brother, yep. there's someone that's coming after us mm -hmm. and that can be any time, which is death. And Allah said, Do you think we create without any purpose? That to us you want to return? Far away Allah from this imperfection. Because that's, when you believe this creation was created without a purpose, you attribute an imperfection to the Most High. So go through it again and think about it. Like I said, you know, God created paradise based upon His mercy. He created the hellfire based upon His anger and mighty. But He gave you free will to choose. Cool. All right, brother. Cheers, brother. It was nice talking to you. Look after Cheers, yourself. Guys. Take care. Yeah, have a nice day. Alhamdulillah. May I ask, pray to Allah, guide him, open his heart. Because, you know, remember, I give you a glad tiding. I already gave it. Three people become Muslims, Alhamdulillah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, uh, yeah, uh, on Friday. But there was a sister and she was reco uh, we recorded a conversation, yes? Uh, on, uh, she was Scottish. Look, look, he thinks it's free. You know, I'm gonna digress. You know, he believes it's free. Music, he's been enslaved by the music. Wallahi, many people say, I'm not, you know, when he gives doubt some people, say, I don't wanna be inside the box. He's not inside the box, he's inside the hole. He thinks it's free. He thinks that I'm free and I'm not stuck in the box. I'm not in the box, brother. Wallahi, freedom to be servant of Allah. You see, look how they beautify music. When you when you talk about music, I say, why? I'm dancing. I'm enjoying myself. Doesn't mean because you enjoy yourself, everything is halal. The one who cut himself, those who harm themselves, they enjoy themselves. But look, Islam. That's why there's a there's dirty war against Islam. Because Islam make you understand who you are. Woman is a woman, man is a man. No man is a chicken, woman is a rabbit, and this is nonsense stuff. You understand? Okay? Man is a man, woman is a woman. Anyway, Alhamdulillah, that sister become Muslim. Alhamdulillah. That's huh? Yes, Algeria, my people. You see, we're more and young, and we're crazy as well. I'm joking. My brothers and my sisters, my Allah bless you all. I have to go. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hayyakum Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Hayyakum Barakallahu feekum. Alaikum salam. I came to meet you, you know, but I, I didn't want to solve with you on a hostile point. But you know, bro, one thought like I, I'm. I'm Male and female. Male and female. By the Imam Bez. Imam Bez. Imam Bez. Salamakum. Yeah. 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 Jamal, let's go, bro. You going class now? Yeah, no, no, I'm going home. Yeah, you know, I, I want gym late. Okay. So I have a step problem, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling tired. When you going to TikTok live, bro? I have to take sometimes break. Shia, the gym. Allah,